Okay, Rizky? Yep. Uh, is everyone here? Rothmat is not here, but he's going to have to catch up later. Okay. So, uh, as, a, as an overview first, our current in a safe real time is uh, being developed on uh, two main repo. So, we have two IDE here. So there is the one called Docker Real-Time Orchestration repo, and then there is another called Inasev Django repo. And the reason why we have two different repos here is mostly because of maybe legacy reason. Uh, so when I think when I first manage in a safe real time from Akbar, we only have a landing page using Apache, I think. And it was managed by Docker in this repo. So it was called Docker real time orchestration. And then we have the uh, Django application here, and it was managed on a different repo here. So let me start with uh, Docker real-time orchestration. So at the moment, I've made some uh, some kind of improvement on Docker's. Uh, we only use this repo to generate uh, Docker containers for in a safe processor. So we call it processor right now because uh, the main thing that it do is uh, read uh, an analysis request from RabbitMQ and then process the request and generate like the impact. Uh, impact analysis and then the reports and store it on some folder in a docker or uh, in a docker okay is everything clear mm -hmm. uh, for this one we are using uh, sorry risky yep. uh, you said Process processing with which part is the processing one? Uh, all of this in this in this project. Okay. Sorry, maybe I didn't catch your question. Uh, you said uh, processing. Uh, I didn't really understand what the processing means. Is it uh, creating the Docker com Docker com Docker compass? Uh, sorry. So. Uh, this is the Docker Compose files, and what it did is to create some service which basically uh, receive requests to generate analysis and reports from various sources, like from flood, and then from earthquake, and then from ash, something like that. Okay, so. Uh, if you see at the surface list here, there is a shake map monitor. So this is basically uh, working for managing the shake map. So whenever BMKG pushed a shake map into a folder here, it will get read by the shake map monitor, which is a I forgot what's the name, something Linux, uh, iNotify here, yeah. using iNotify, so it monitors a folder and then if there are some changes, it looks for the grid XML file, if it's a new one, then uh, it will generate shake map uh, analysis. And then there is called a worker, this is basically a salary worker. This worker were uh, running in a Docker container and connecting to a RabbitMQ, a RabbitMQ broker, sorry. 
So uh, risky for the Docker real time orchestration. You're just working on a master branch, or have you got like a Git flow set up? No, uh, only master branch since the beginning. I think we yeah. didn't have a developer branch. Okay. Uh, one thing to note for that this repo is only managing the Docker orchestration. So the code is uh, the code itself is being mounted on another folder and it was taken from currently in a safe real time repo which is basically a fork of in a safe version 3.5 is it a sub module uh, for this one no because it's really old and uh, I haven't migrated it into a sub model yet. So you've got you you've got a copy of the inner safe source in Docker real time. Three point five. Oh uh, yes. It was, but the, we have also the inner safe real time repo, right? Which has also got a copy of the source, or yeah, that's the source folder that we are using. What so is this, uh, this repo. Sorry. Uh, so you, the, the InnerSafe real time repo has a copy of the InnerSafe source, and so does this one. And so, what, yeah, is, so what is each one doing? No, the, the, the copy in here is the InnerSafe real time, it's just a clone of the InnerSafe real time repo. Uh, uh, so this the folder orchestration repo. No, uh, sorry, I'm confused. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, this repo is only manage the Docker orchestration. Uh, okay, so it so doesn't have any. Risky. So the Docker real time orchestration because there's a Docker real time orchestration repo as well. We're not using that one. Yeah, this is the Docker real time orchestration repo. Yeah, so that, we that's, are a using that to that's a clone of the Docker don't. real time orchestration repo, and inside there's a clone of um, InnerSafe real time um, that it uses. Yeah. It's not maintained. InnerSafe real time it's in not the a source module, so it's just a, it's an internal clone. Yeah, it's an internal clone. And that's in InnerSafe. Huh? Where? What's the? Uh, it's on InnerSafe real time repo. No, but I mean, uh, I mean, I'm just trying to. I'm checking out the code here while we're talking. Uh, I, oh, I think I understand. So you 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 clone the Inasef Inasef source code uh, in your local, not in the repository, right? Because I don't see in the SRC folder here. No, no, no. So I must I must I must check out a copy of Inasef real time orchestration, and inside of that, I must check out a copy of Inasef real time. Yeah, for real time, uh, three point five. Yeah, and 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 how do I check it out? Because um, I must check it out to what folder? To SRC. I, so I think I already set up the development uh, Ansible development mode to set up all that. Let me just ah. check. It. Yeah, so if you if you run that, it will it will clone it for you yeah so if you run the ansible setup it will clone the uh, the nsf code from the repo which is here so what you have to do to set up your development environment is copy the all dot sample dot yml and then uh, part particularly change the and copy it all. Yeah, you copied it all, but you need to change the project path. I still don't have any way to um, like generate. Sorry. To to the path yeah, to, to your local machine. Yes, to your, to your local machine, and then uh, you need to set up the IP address. Can you yeah, use 127.0.0.1 or? Sorry? 
Can you use 127.0.0.1? I think you cannot use that because uh, this needs to be resolved by the network bridge because wow. the salary worker will try to connect to another service using this address. So okay. if it's a local host address, then well, the salary worker will basically try to connect to itself, which is not we wanted to do. So you I have must to change from Ansible development group so is there already a document describing all this or should, should we be documenting this as we go in? I don't think we don't have that one yet. Ah, sorry. Yeah, I think I haven't met that yet. Okay, so let me document as you're going that we've got it clear. So you copy the all sample to all.yaml, yeah? Yeah. I, I think this is very similar with the Docker. For the, for the right? Yeah. Yeah, I didn't have <laughs> Okay. Any way to okay. easily so then just be prepared to go a little bit slower so I can just document things as we go, okay? Um, so you copy the all YAML and then you edit that YAML file and it's clear in that YAML file. Yeah. Okay. Once the YAML's edited, then you're gonna do Ansible what? You had to do make set up Ansible. Make set up Ansible. And it will set up the whole thing if you are using PyCharm. Okay. Must you run it inside of PyCharm or? <coughs> no, you can run it outside of PyCharm, uh, but some of the code here modify the uh, internal PyCharm config settings using like file file templating system. So what okay. I was trying okay. to achieve is to have the. Yeah, so I, w I wanted to have this uh, running uh, run configuration command. And if it was edited outside of PyCharm, you had to reload your uh, PyCharm. So just reload and then it will also set up your Docker Compose file. Okay, just hang on. And then Yep. So what uh, what I did with Docker Compose file is we have two layer of configuration. Uh, the first one is the basic Docker Compose file. It contains all the uh, like definition of service. And we have the override file, which is not being tracked by JIT. So you can modify it in your development environment and it will not be uh, committed. What is the remote user for? Is it for your local or? Um... For your local. Okay. Because what I was trying to do is connect into the local machine using Ansible to let Ansible configure all the necessary files like the Docker Compose files and then the salary configuration. 
And do you have your, your machine set up that it always gets the same IP address on your local network or what happens when you change your IP address? Are you coming back and changing this file? Uh, do you run make? Yeah, so whenever I change my, uh, uh, whenever I change my work environment, like uh, maybe when I was working on a cafe, the IP address will be different. So I just change the uh, this way, this file. That's why I have like a different configuration. And the like uh, some some IP is from the my office and then some my I see. Uh, yeah. phone hotspot. Yeah, and then I run the make setup Ansible again. It I see you've got some up. and hashes in here. Are these real read-only hash or what is? Uh, sorry. I see you've got the bit sync hash for the analysis data in here as well. I'm asking is, is yep. that read-only hash? Yeah, it's a read-only hash. Okay. Because we need it for the analysis. So really, what you need to change is just the um, the project. Path, the remote user and the remote user, remote group, and then this IP time, uh, and the intersect real time interpreter's IP address. Yep. Okay. Ah, uh, sorry. It will also set up a uh, name in your ETC host, okay. so you can you can access the website, for example, using this name. But we uh, will demo that later, I think. Mm. After running your setup Ansible, you spin up your Docker instances using makeup. Uh, I think you probably need to build the image first if you are uh, like newly fresh installation. Mine is taking a long time. <laughs> uh, did you do make build or make up or? Uh, still, Macan Simba, I think, is checking out the Inasef source code. Ah, yeah, because it was... Uh, maybe you cloned the whole source code. So what does the make one for Ansible? Make setup, make setup, setup Ansible. Ansible. Okay, I'm running that now as well. Pseudo password is my local, yeah? Okay, all running locally. Yep. When you when you're deploying on the server, is this only development setup, or is, are you using the same routine? Uh, which uh, well, which the... PyCharm version? So, hang on a minute. Which PyCharm version are you using? At the moment, uh, I'm uh, for me. I'm using seventeen point three, but I need to add uh, my my patch. Oh, okay, because I, I think it was ah, yeah, I think. point three. So just uh, add yeah. some. Uh, just go to the this file. Which file? Go to uh, Ansible Rose PyCharm par. No, it's uh, this one, right? Just, just yeah, just just open that one and add one more things. I must put one more into where is it in the bars? Yeah, uh, you mean this one? Yeah, okay. so far it's working and I did the, the content. <laughs> okay, but you got a patch for that already? Uh, yes, but, on, but for Decor QSIF because yesterday I was working on that one. So I just copied but the I 2017 make... one. Dot two to yeah. 2017. Did you have to change anything inside of it? Yeah, the 
the the the, the part use the just change the content and the set dot yml dot for my course yes for my course just change the two to a three at the end yes okay and one more team uh, set dot yaml uh, what what site that yaml is in the and uh, an, i think i will just quickly make a patch yeah. yeah yeah please yeah make a patch i think i don't want to document that um <laughs> Just, just push it straight into the master or... Uh, risky after setup and Sybil make build first. Yeah, if you haven't to make build before. I got this error risk. Uh, something that unable to look at package QGIS. Huh? QGIS? Yeah. Maybe you want to uh, share your skir screen? Maybe? No. no. Uh, yes. Uh, I will just put in the channel, in the Zoom. I think this is coming from ABN. So uh, they made some changes, similar changes. I noticed it when I was working on Docker GeoSafe, uh, so, which, oh, okay. So in a subsequent You got the error in the make. Uh, I got the error in make. Uh, and make build. Make. I got the one in uh, an error in uh, the setup for PyCharm. Uh, maybe my PyCharm is not what I think it is. Let me just check if I have the right version. You can click about. Yeah. And I've still got seventeen at uh, uh, point two. Maybe I should just upload quickly. Ah, oh, no, that's your pie job. I'm looking. I've got seventeen point one. <laughs> 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 it's confusing. <laughs> <laughs> ah, okay, let me update quickly. Uh, it should be automatic with the uh, uh, jet stream, eh? Jet. Uh, jet, jet do it, you don't you have toolbox? Yeah, I do. Yeah, but I always disable it when I'm traveling because it's. Uh, <laughs> um, I'm gonna say using bandwidth unexpectedly. Yeah. Like, uh, professional. There's, but there's also two seventeen two. Okay, so you've got two seventeen three. Yeah. yeah uh, because is my list using that? He's on the forefront. Yeah, sure. <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> it was only yesterday I came out. No, no, because uh, it's like 
last month or I think or maybe. Okay. <laughs> But yesterday I couldn't uh, set up my dev development environment for Docker Joseph and then. Uh, oh. hmm. But I think if you have a so, previously setting in to uh, the previous version of uh, PyCharm, you it will be like migrated. Uh, yeah. yeah, automatically. Okay. I'm just getting the latest thing. Anyway. Uh, Ismail, yeah. Maybe you should add this one here. At what to where? Add this to there. <laughs> That's helpful. <Sorry. laughs> Can you put in Kitter so that uh, if somebody want to? So what's the problem? Uh, Debian is missing some package. So if you pull from Debian JC, then uh, it cannot get other packages because it's missing this apt transport https. So you had to put it the first time. Uh, where is it? Uh... But once you just patch it into the code again, risky. Sorry. Why don't you just patch the uh, repo rather? And we don't want to document all this small. Things just yeah. To be yeah. Big steps. Well, if you allow me, then yeah, I allow you. you. To wait. Oh, wait, wait for. Me. Yeah, it's I think cool. you you can just push it directly to master to make it fast. Yeah, we'll forget yeah. our good working practices for one day. <laughs> Adding something to somewhere. <laughs> Why I already have the case for this? Did you see that the new PyCharm has got um, like a REST uh, sorry? tool? So you don't need to use um, Postman. Oh, really? I didn't. I just saw it in the change log uh, that there were. Yeah, the one that I read in the change log is uh, faster, what's it, uh, indexing. Project scanning. <laughs> Project scanning of the. Yeah, for, for the files and the. Mm -hmm. uh, What is that? Uh, yeah, I think it's really plot. slow. Plot or something. Mm -hmm. Plot for what? Uh, to show what's the the picking in Python to show like graphic. Uh, plotly. Uh, yeah, my plotly, I think. <laughs> uh, my Yeah, uh, yeah, something like that. I forget. <laughs> oh, so it can show you visualizations in the in PyCharm. Yeah, uh, yeah. I think they they can show like uh, the preview of something. I think that's been nice, especially if you are data scientist. <laughs> mm. Come on, risky. Come on, risky. Okay. So pushed. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I think so, but 
I haven't got in time to check the orchestration itself. It's still building though. Ah, it still looks working. Does it work? Uh, I don't know, still. Uh, <laughs> get one, get two, get three, get five, get six, get seven. Uh, what is it? What, what get? Oh, oh like when you pull <laughs> They should make a, like a, a notification with a sound or something. <laughs> when it finishes building. Yeah. <laughs> you, know that you, can, like, you can do it. You can do like this. Sorry? Uh, just listen to this. Hello, Sunny. Oh. <laughs> How do you do it? <laughs> uh, what is that? How are you? Oh, ah, is it? Uh, I know you. You uh, read from the terminal, I'm I think. The bus. <laughs> <laughs> and just you can just in the terminal, you just write say, and then whatever you want yeah. to say. Yeah. So you yeah, can put actually, in the script, uh, um, like orchestration complete, something like that. Uh, okay. Uh, we should start to use it in all our scripts because it's quite nice. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> actually, I'm using that to what's it? Uh, uh, to study listening <laughs> <laughs> because uh, I don't have the like the sound file and then there is only text file so okay so then yeah. you just listen to it yeah <laughs> but it's too easy <laughs> because <laughs> 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 ah I could another error yeah the Ubuntu phone <clears throat> Uh, yes. Let uh, me I don't do know. some. No, no, no. Different, yeah. different, different, different. Different? Uh, I pass in the Kitter. Hey, not not Kitter. Uh, Zoom. Yeah, uh, let me look at after this one. Okay. Hmm. Still getting an error. Same, same as me? No, I'm still trying to do the uh, setup Ansible. Uh, uh, some error, error. Looks like destination directory. To, ah, you, you have, sorry. There's, it's got something else I need to fix in the part. Ah, oh, yes, sir. But I didn't get this error. I don't know why. Zana, are you following along as well? Are you still there? Sorry? I'm asking Ivan if he's still there, if he's following along as well. 
Yeah, I'm listening and trying to figure out what happened. <laughs> okay, because it's good for you to get this set up on your machine as well. Well, I think it's too hard for me to do, to follow it from the beginning. Okay. Because I don't really understand the whole picture yet, so maybe I will just stand by listening. Okay. If there is anything, um, yeah. I'm, I'm going to be sharing a, a link to the doc in the channel that I'm writing. Maybe you can try to follow in oh, the okay. new steps that we're writing as we're going. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Just hang on that would be very helpful yeah. for me. Look in the, Are you using... In the in a safe Would channel. So I'm just doing it as a Google Doc for now, Sunny. Um, oh, no, no, I'm asking if I oh. to... Are you using what is it, uh, in a safe, uh, sorry. Uh, Ubuntu. Ubuntu? I'm not turning on my Ubuntu machine at the moment because I didn't bring my laptop to the office. Okay. Is it working with Windows? My yeah, in the office computer. So I need to restart my computer in order to... No, I mean, uh, because we are using Docker. Ah, yeah, that's what I... Ensemble, I don't know. You can use Docker on Windows, but probably is it not like, quite uh, so straightforward as, as... Yeah. Yeah, I think you need be better to, to work on your Ubuntu machine. Um, yeah, let me try booting up my virtual machines first. <laughs> mm. So Sunny, maybe you can also just write notes in there as you're going. Um, are you the anonymous monkey? Okay. Who's the anonymous monkey? Yeah. Ah, yes. Yeah. Uh, no, not me, not me. Yeah. Who is the anonymous monkey, I wonder? Ah, not me. Maybe Etienne? No. Maybe... Uh, no, not you also. Ah, see, there is me. Ah. We have intruder. Uh, can you try it again, Ismail? Uh, pull first. And Tim, do you still have your problem? I'm going to check now. Um, I think my problem was an ID10T error, which I think I fixed. ID what? ID10T. <laughs> it's very hard um, to bugs I'll, to fix. I'll say it on my computer. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. If you say it, I cannot easily <laughs> like see the words. She can't say that. I tend to. <laughs> How is it, Ismail? 
uh, running. I think uh, I forget where it stopped, so I don't know. <laughs> I think it's running, so maybe it's fine. I'm still in I'm... error. Um, fail checksum. Uses Tim Linux did Docker, Docker real time orchestration. Oh, it's the part you idea directory. Huh? Yeah, sorry? Uh, uh, because you must, have the, you must have opened the project at least once in PyCharm, I guess. Okay, I see. We can document that. So, because I never opened ah. it in PyCharm before, it's, it's got no .idea directory in it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I understand. What? Um, it's, it's, it's failing because it doesn't find an, a .idea directory in the, in, the, in, the, in the repo, in the git checkout. In the repo. Ah, yeah, yeah, because you because never I didn't ever open it in PyCharm yet. Um, so we should just put a note there. Who is the anonymous monkey? It's got me very curious now. He's scanning through the whole document. Ivan, Ivan, Ivan. It's me. <laughs> Sorry. Ah. <laughs> we found the intruder. Ah. Uh, maybe it's better if you use Ubuntu 16. Uh, the current monkey is Ivan. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a monkey. So 16 10 is okay? Yeah, 16 10 is okay, I think. Okay. <clears throat> 16 04 should be okay as well. Yeah. Still working, get one, get two, get three. Maybe we can put that up a little bit higher. Are you typing there, Sunny? Uh, in the prerequisite section, I put all the software you need. E, okay. So the InnerSafe checkout is doing, is it checking out the, the InnerSafe real-time repo or is it checking out? Um, oh, InnerSafe real-time repo. Mm -hmm. That one should be much smaller though, hey? It doesn't have all the history. I think it got the history. Ah, if I remember a it and then like an, a fork of it. Yeah. Uh, for and symbol is it pip or brew? I use brew. Oh, brew install uh, um, and symbol.
Yeah, I think it works now. Mine works. Uh, mine still setting up, setting up. Okay. Still waiting for my PyCharm. It's at least running now, my PyCharm setup. Wait a minute, I just realized something. <laughs> what did you realize? Ah. I think I put a toggle on it, so I don't know if it works now. Toggle for what? For medical stuff. Yeah. Oh. Uh, I don't know, maybe I search it the next time. Uh, okay, I already did it. So it's fine, it's fine. We don't need it? Yeah, we don't need it. So what's the, just while we're waiting for that, what's the next logical step after we've done a make build? Make uh, make up. Okay, and that's going to spin up a, a local instance that you can SSH into from Python. Yes, and then for first timers, you need to activate it so Python recognize the containers. So you uh, let me just wait for it to finish. Okay, now just I'm just like understanding the process. Yeah. Uh, so risky in this one, uh, it's like uh, using the same development environment like in the Docker QSF, like when you have several remote interpreter in PyCharm. Yeah, but I think this one only have one. Okay. Using a remote yes. interpreter. Huh? Yeah, yeah, from the Docker, right? Yes. So if you click finish preferences, uh, you need to like open this uh, page to for choose. for it to be able to recognize your uh, environment. In the I think. Yeah. Okay. okay. We we'll come to there just now. Okay. Okay. Well, my field finish. Oh, you guys are far ahead of me. But keep going, yeah. I'll, I'll catch up. Um, my app address changes, so I need to. I wait, my mic. Uh, so if it all finished well, you get no, you get OK equals 16, failed equals naught, eh? Um, let's see here. Uh, Okay, so then we can run make build. Oh, finish. So I need to uh, open the the preference, right? Yeah. Um, it's a little strange. What's the name of the remote interpreter Did in you use? Restart. Should I restart PyCharm? You have to create Yeah, it. if it was asked you to restart PyCharm. Uh, 
uh, the interpreter will came up after mic up or mic build mic up right mic up are you um, automatically yes. adding the interpreter profile in the idea directory using ansible or you you have to go and configure it manually uh, automatically using ansible huh? yeah Oh, finish. Only one in a several time container. Oh, I, I got many. Oh, I will just. Profile. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, how many remote interpreters should be? I got three. Yeah, maybe three, but one. You're going to use probably just one. Ah, the the other one is on a monitor, right? Yes. Okay. Which port are you using for your remote interpreter? Just out of curiosity, because I think you might be using the same one. So I'm using from um, projector. Sorry, Tim. I don't think it's possible. Uh, which which port uh, is it I that you use? Port. Uh, so it doesn't have remote. any web server, so huh? three five one zero three. Oh, that's fine. So Ismail, have you finished indexing? Uh, but second, I just uh, need to write. Uh, no, still, still, still thinking. What's and the um what? Test the Inasef SecMeg monitor container for. Uh, what? Uh, I have three container. Uh, sorry, not container. Interpreter. Oh, okay. And uh, the real time is for Yes. The real time container is for the salary, salary uh -huh. worker, and this one is only for check map. Uh, why there are two? Because previously we had two different sources one is coming from BMKG, and then uh, the other one is from BNP. Oh, okay. Which one is the one that you must use? The, the real-time container. 
uh it's already been set as a default so i think mm. you don't have to i just would think about that is mouse uh, not saying that you have to go and choose one or set one no just just need to open uh because uh it yeah you will just need to, need to open Open by charm or you can the server first. In the you just need to select the interpreter and then close the okay. dialog. Just to yeah. make uh what is it? Yeah. Populated the yeah the module and the back. Uh, this yeah. one is list. Yeah. yeah. Uh, to build the cache, I think. Mm. So you finished, Ismail? Uh, almost. Yeah, sometimes the indexing process takes a long time. So if you are not using SSD, maybe it will be slower. I'm not sure. You have SSD, oh. don't you, Sunny? Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, for people who's not using SSD. Yeah. Uh, Risky for the real time. Uh, you also use Ranger for the deployment. Yep. So the Docker image for production mode is located on the production folder. I think we only will to two instances, <coughs> two images. <coughs> And you push those to the hub or you push them to just uh, rebuild them on the server? Uh, it was built using Docker Cloud. So whenever I like push the branch, mm -hmm. it will try to rebuild this to container. There is also a build script here which you can customize. I usually uh, use this if I want to manually build it. And then you just... Um, In the server. And you just do a launch uh, upgrade on the server. Yeah. Both. Yeah. And For a simple project like this, we can use Docker Cloud. Sorry? Um, okay, let me just also explain. Um, a risky. I finished indexing, uh, which one that I should run. Uh, so if you run this monitoring service, uh, it will only run the monitoring service for ShakeMap. And so if you, see. well, maybe we want to try this one first. The and monitoring service. Yeah. What? <gasps> Listen, Error. Yeah, me too. Yes. That's the advantage of being behind you guys is that by the time I get to each step, you fixed it already. <laughs> That's cheating. <laughs> so 
So it's the problem. Let's see. Sorry, my wife is singing. I don't know if you can hear. <laughs> can you hear on your, on your thing? Was yeah, I can hear, but <laughs> it's not like uh, singing. <laughs> no, it scales. Too much yeah, noise, maybe. Yeah. I cannot hear it. So those two recipes, the InnoSafe and the SFTP, the InnoSafe one, does it contain Django and everything? Uh, uh, and uh, celery, worker, the whole, the whole yeah. was managed in that one repo, of that one container? Yes. So you just run the yeah. container in different ways, depending whether you want it to be a celery worker or a, um, or a, or the Django site. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Ismail, maybe while you are waiting, you can try the salary worker to see if it is work. Mm. 
Yeah, I think it's working. Yeah. Oh, but the repeat thing. Maybe because I recreate the. Uh, I just connected now. What is that run commanding? Is it running a make um, target tool? Uh, sorry. The, that, that run uh, what comment? configuration, is it running an external make to make command or? Which one? The one that you just ran now, the, with the green, uh, you know, on, the, on your configurations list there, you've got celery workers and you click the run button next to it. This one. Yeah, so what is that? Is it? Um, yeah. Is it running Python task or is it running a make command? Because I saw it spinning up a whole lot of containers there at the bottom. Or well, I thought it was spinning up a whole bunch of containers. Uh, this one, the one. Yeah. It's running the a... One that I click. Uh, it's a, a Python task. Yep. Yeah. Uh, this one with these parameters. Oh, okay. So all of this environment is already pre-filled. Oh, okay. The Docker Cloud and the Docker Hub is it's aliases for each other, eh? I mean, you've got a different user interface, but the things are published in both or not. No, don't, I guess not. Uh, I think they have some registry, uh, the same registry somewhere. But I don't see that. I didn't use uh, Docker Hub anymore. In uh, real time containers in the hub.docker. So I guess it's only in cloud. How come I, I'm, have you not added me to the inner safe um, group in Docker? Oh, wait, you have. You have a separate inner safe user in cloud.docker.com. So, Suni, are you able to see? Um, Um, are you right. able to see this link here? I'm just going to put it into the into the Google Doc. Hang on. Uh, just one second. Yeah, just look at the bottom of the doc. Login. Oh, sorry, in the doc. But I still don't see the. Yeah, I can see in a safe pitching, in a safe data, in a safe data, in a safe data. But we don't see but the no... TP ones there and the in a safe. No, no, no. Everything is very old, like two years ago. <laughs> yeah, it's the same as what's in that. So where should we be seeing it, Risky? Uh, on Cartosa. Is it in the cartels? Because I didn't have access to. I went into the real time 
profile, of the inner state profile, profile. I don't have inner state profile. Ah. Maybe you haven't add me yet? I don't know. Maybe. maybe. So you're publishing everything under Cortoza. Let's see. Okay, so I see Docker real time. Yeah, because I thought. Yeah, I we thought that's the yeah, only one we had. So. Probably put it in the inner safe repo rather, but um, let me see if I can add you to there. Yeah, I haven't been added to inner safe yet. Uh, let me see how to manage you. Your username on there is Lucena as well. Okay, I see. I see there's four people. Let's see. Yes. Ah, uh, you're not there. Sunny is there. Yes, I think. Yeah, I don't even know we had in the same. <laughs> like, I forget <laughs> if we have. <laughs> I think I only put the translation. And I'm going to add Rohmat and Boney to there as well. Do you know what Boney's Docker Cloud ID is? No, uh, Rohmat, I don't know what his one is. I think it was. Boney um, it was the same with the. Yeah, Boney underscore Bun. You can probably see it on Cartoza. Is that the Bernie dash ban or Bernie underscore ban? Did Rohma join us? Ah, Bernie yeah. dash, sorry. He doesn't exist there. I think I'm not in included in Cartoza, I think. Oh, shame. Okay, let me fix that too. Okay. <laughs> you should be able to see the uh, inner safe one now, Risky. So we should publish into there, I think, for inner safe. Related things. Yeah, I've seen it. Uh, I'm fixing you now, Sunny. Just give me a second. Uh, Bernie Banner CS user ID is no dash. Uh, it's different. Okay, Sunny, you go there. and update this. Let's see. Oh, yes. Yay. Welcome to the show. Oh. <laughs> With using your <laughs> photo. My, my icon for the, <laughs> for the organization, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I need to yeah. upload a better icon. Um, <laughs> No, I'll just add I button. thought I was looking with your. Uh, no. <laughs> uh, I will. Where is. Okay, so Bernie is also in the group. Uh, I smile. Oh, yeah, I think Romat doesn't have yet. I think. Yeah, he can set himself up and we'll add him. No reply. Okay, what's what's risky? Ah, uh, I forget you had to start this first. What? Make PM KG monitor. What's that for? Yeah, but we won't have it in the future, which is uh, the same monitor. Okay, so. After that, you can run monitoring service. You should see something like this. Uh, no, cannot open file. 
Nos has filed directory notify new six. Huh? Really? Yeah. Um, so. Check your NSF folder. Was it already checked out? Inasif SRC, Inasif real time. Inasif SRC, Inasif. Was it access? Uh, earthquake. Yes, it's it's it exists. It exists. Um. Not sure. Did you uh, uh, did you run this one? Uh, yes. I also run the salary workers. Does it run? Yes, yes workers. the salary is fine. Bisa sih, tahu dong. Salah peta lima nih, mana? menolong dari <laughs> tadi ke pisau. <laughs> Coba make status, make status. Try make status di, di, di Facebook. Make status apa nih? Uh, real time, oh, uh, exit, exit, yeah, exit. exit. Check my corrector, Gayang run, 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 run. Saya ini monitor ruan dan up 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 sama persis. Eh ada beda satu nih oh, sama sama sama. Udah ini di case. Udah tadi. Dah satu, dua, tiga, dah tong, dah semua ni dah tong, sampai yang cium dan segala ni. Oh, terus milih yang real time container ya? Ada juga. Enggak yang satunya masih. Oh, yang mana dong? Yang ini monitor. Tapi jangan di oke. -OK. Cuma buat ngelihat aja. Udah kedetek dulu. Udah, 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 udah semua. Coba uh, try Docker exec IT. Eh? Oh. Yang Dan mana tu saya kan? Real time binasif, satu. So Rizky, in, in production, it's only you also using those two repos, the SFTP one and the, the real time orchestration one. Ah uh, yeah, for binasif processor. So, I mean, uh, what do you mean for any service? But like when you deploy onto the live site, you're also only pulling those two repos, eh? Yes. Plus, plus postures and some other things from other repos. Uh, that is covered on the other repositories. Okay. In, in a safe Django. <coughs> 
we come to that just now. For the Django related, yeah. Ismail, are you able to? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I can go to inside it. And does it contain some files like this? Uh, yes, uh, more or less, yes, I think so. So it has notify new shape? Uh, notify, yes. Okay, that's strange. Uh, can you see the path? Uh, uh, what's the, the, the... What? Uh, where is it, Ismail? Uh, can you uh, open the configuration of run monitoring service? Just to make sure the same. This one? Yeah, it's look like the same. Uh, ah, it's looking the same, right? <laughs> Go ahead, well, if you can... Uh, if you can see this these files, then I think you're prob uh, you're probably fine. Because the file exists. So what? Uh, why, why? 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 Can you retry maybe? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let me try again. Monitoring service. Boom! Ah, still. Nope. No. Ah, uh, what about this one? Is it the correct? Ah, uh, wait a minute. Python in a safe real time. I put in the chat. Is it correct? Oh, no, I put on Docker. Uh, why do you have that backslash? Every uh, just, just to spare it. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I think it should be okay. Oh, can you check? Um, do you have this path mappings? Oh, no, second. In a uh, which, which, uh, which para interpreter? Check map monitor. Oh. You use that one? Okay. Oh, uh, no, no, no. Uh, sorry, you don't, you don't have to click anything. You can just click cancel. Ah, I already clicked something. <laughs> ah, that, maybe that's why. So. What should I use? Uh, use this for default. You may Real click. container. Yes, okay. And then apply. Then but it and was then, this real-time container. Uh, and then for this one, make sure you choose check map monitor container. Uh, run monitoring service. Ah, wrong. Can you see me? Yeah. Uh, oh, same, 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 same. Check this map one? monitoring, yeah, check map monitor container. 
Okay, it should work then. Uh, Can still you running, make so. sure that this path mapping exists? Uh, in a safe segment container. Oh, empty. Why empty? I think that was the problem with 2017.3. How about this one? Uh, for which one? This one, real time container. Real time container. Yeah, it has, uh, but only one. You have only one? Separate. Yeah. I only have uh, on the project root in a SRC, home real time SRC, but not the other two. Okay, maybe you had to. Oh, uh, for PNBP, so empty. So, so I, I just need to copy from you? <laughs> uh, no, you need to copy from yourself. You need to use your. Ah, yeah, sure. <laughs> put into home real time SRC. Uh, to this directory or the, the, the main directory? Yeah, I like this one. I cannot see the full. Can you drag? I get bigger. Click, 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 click. Click. It's only uh, a safe as our CD. A safe as our CD. And the remote part is uh, home. Yep. Home. Real time. Oh. Home real time. What? SRC. <laughs> SRC, yes. I guess we check this by chance. And. The other one? Yeah, it's the same. Maybe you uh, for, I mean, uh, for one interpreter, one path? Uh, did you input it from this one? No, from the preference. If you input it from this one, it will be applied to the other interpreter. Oh, where is that deployment? Tools? Deployment configuration like the old days. Oh, I never use it. Really? Docker. I think I already put it here, so I'm not sure why. What should I put here, Risky? Docker. Docker real time orchestration. A second. No, no, no. Oh, at at one name Docker real time orchestration. Ah, uh, wait, 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 wait. It was using a different port. So maybe you should just <laughs> put it on uh, this one. In the configuration in the prepare friends. Yes. Yes. You have to part what is the other one? I think it's the same one. It's okay. just different uh different source. Different I put some link to uh, it's it's my own configuration. I think you don't need to go through it. Then try again. Meanwhile, I will check this uh, path mapping. So, um, but, but I ran. Uh, I got finished doing my my make build, or whatever. Um, what is it called? Um, I run make up, but I don't see the. I should see those interpreters yep. there, but I don't see them. Um, uh, have you have you run makeup yet? Yeah, 
And I said, restart pie charm or... Oh, I see them. Did, did you give them names yourself or... I see ones for six, one, three, or three. What for? Yeah, I give it. Oh, no, you're running on three something, eh? Must I restart PyCharm before I see it? It should have a name. Yeah, I don't see it. Let me just restart PyCharm. No, it's not create. Uh, maybe I must show all. No, it's not created them. Can I rerun the the Ansible thing to recreate them, or what do I have to do? Yeah, check. you can do that. Let me just check which uh, pie charm I'm running. Seventeen point three. Bisa sun? Lagi indexing. Uh, ya mungkin bisa kali. Malah jangan sombong. Oke, okay, bagus ya. Mungkin tambahin di sini. Ada kok. kurang tahu Ya, indeksnya bisa terputus. Kenapa? Indeksnya lama ya, bisa terputus. Bisa lah. Udah itu selupa, sampai mana nanti. <laughs> kalau mana komit ntar orang tinggal itu kan ya full lagi kan ya terus make set apa yeah. lagi ya yeah. satar ya laptop oh, <laughs> pasti kamu berat ini apa sih Bunyi enggak? Hah? Ya bunyi lah. <laughs> bunyi enggak. Saya kelurang 12. Yeah. Kok 12 doang? Bukan udah lama. <laughs> ya itu yang baru ganti bulan Oktober kemarin. Ternyata ini bisa 12 doang? Oh, iya itu dong. Tapi enggak tahu sih ini bener. Enggak pernah cabut tuh ya. Oh, ya masih Enggak, orang paranoid. Tadi 101 loh. Box oh, parah. Abal-abal masih dong. Orang 2,5 tahun. 
tinggal 82% halnya. Oke, okay, I've got the container now. Mm-hmm. I have to run the setup Ansible with Python closed and then open Ansible afterwards. I uh, open PyCharm afterwards. Well, if you run it inside it, uh, I mean inside PyCharm, usually PyCharm asks oh. you to reload the project. Which is I'm nice. still not used to use uh, terminal in PyCharm. <laughs> No, I, I, I used to use it, but I used um, a mix of sometimes in and sometimes out. But I thought since we're bootstrapping something for PyCharm, it made sense to run outside. Um, yeah. Okay, so then you make up. Have I done make up already? Have I done? Yeah, I've done make up already. So and I've, and I've so, and I see my interpreter in PyCharm, and then I must just run the run monitoring service. Uh, uh, did you see in the the map, path mapping team in the in the printer? Uh, no, let me look. Um, or is it empty for the monitoring? Uh, we we can also look at the monitoring one. Yeah. The, there should be one. Oh, it's strange because it's yeah, right in the monitoring configuration. One. Why not? Oh, it's busy thinking. I already put some patches, so maybe it's my you should try it first. <laughs> I just need to run make setup and civil again. Oh. But I need to restart. PyCharm and then PyCharm will need to indexing again. <laughs> no. Index every time, then? Eh? I think it will no, index it will every just, time you open. No, it will just uh, it will just re-index if you had a different remote address. So, for example, if you change your Wi-Fi or okay, I trust to you. Different location. I will close my PyCharm. Why well, I just usually uh, run make setup and stable inside and then I just will ask me to feel. Oh, I like terminal. So I have to rerun make Ansible as well. Yes, if you pull. Yeah, I just pulled because I don't want to do it again just now. Make setup Ansible. Why does it need the pseudo password every time? Because it's changing something in PyCharm. Uh, it's changing the host, etc. Host. Ah, okay. Tadi yang di run monitoring service. 
Eh, eh ini di run aja. Bismillah. Eh benar, cek dulu enggak? Cek dulu ada enggak? Enggak mau. Empty, still empty. <laughs> oh, really? Oke. Okay. I'll just use my Masih hitung? Iya, tong. Ngapain orang bohong? Apa gunanya hidup orang berarti? Gak ada gunanya, tong. Ubah hidup malah. Maybe I should update to uh, 2017.3. But you will get the old uh, like settings, so it will be the same. Ke inasif SRC ke real time SRC kan ya? Yeah. Home real time SRC. Uh, if you want to make Ansible and also make build again, or just is just Ansible that needs to be run? Yeah, just Ansible. But the fix is not working, Tim, so you need to... And... So what stopped working? Uh, the, 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 the patch to set up the part is not working properly. So I need to set yeah. the part manually for the runner? Yes. For the interpreter. Uh, in the interpreter? Yes. See. For in a real time container, which one must I? Uh, for two, for the monitoring one. Monitoring PNP and monitoring the other. Okay, but are we using both? You only need to use one, surely, yeah? Uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> because the uh, sorry? one's taken from the bit sync, eh? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, we, won't, we won't be using the BNPB one anymore. I hope. Yeah. So I must change the path mappings to do what? Point? Uh, in ASIF, in under the Inasif SRC. SRC. Inasif SRC, yeah. To home real time SRC. Right, Risky? Yep. Home real time. SRC. Did you document that already, Sunny? Or <laughs> not yet, not yet. We're trying to avoid documenting because you're trying to patch it, or yeah, yeah I, I was trying okay. to patch it. Okay, so I won't, I won't uh, document it for now. Ah, still not working, risky. Yeah, I will try to fix it in the flash. Could not refresh skeletons for remote. I'm not ah. have to okay, it's working. Which is the remote interpreter we should be using for PyCharm though? Uh, the so, shake uh, so, container or the other one? So let me just explain first. So we set up the uh, we set up the interpreters, but you should not be changing this because the configuration already use specific interpreters. For example, for monitoring service, you use this one, and yeah. for salary for workers, the, you for, use this for one. For your IEE, what is it expecting? You can choose anyone or what? Uh, it, it's been already chosen. Oh, really? I mean, just... Uh, no, no. Uh, at the uh, team, might be asking which one do you choose in the preference. Yeah. Just. Ah, uh, you mean? Uh, yeah. just go open the your Python preference, and then yes. so you are using real time container here. Okay. Yeah, just, I mean you. It's, you it's don't need to change. But I changed it while I was editing, so now I didn't know which one was supposed to be. Okay, so that's fine. Yeah. So put it back there. And what should I run to run the whole service? The monitoring service or the, like, um, 
Did you already do makeup? Yeah, I mean, the end result should be that I'm getting a debug version of the website running in my browser, right? Uh, this one is only for the processor, so it's not the Django ah. development. Uh, the Django development is only. Nothing we're doing here is for Django? No, ah. uh, it's only for, this ah. is for Ismail. I'm surprised. Oh. Okay, let's see. Because I wrote in the beginning. Uh, no. So no, that's why I said in the beginning there are two repo, and then uh, this one is only for the processor, and this one is. Ah, okay. So okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this just takes the shakes and the floods or whatever, and just processes them, right? Yes. It's actually just for. So we need to do another session like this, which is to get the Django environment running. Yeah. Great. Well, okay. the, the concept is the same, like you run set up Ansible. Okay. Uh, and there will be some... I actually setup. think we should have done the other one first, maybe, because that's probably the way all the paper cuts are that Charlotte wants things changed. <laughs> but anyway, okay. Yeah, okay. but... But you need this one for yeah, the other one, or...? Yes, you need this one for the other one, because I think mainly Charlotte's paper cut is about the Ash real time. I think and I was, yeah, yeah, and and because Rahmat is not here, so <laughs> okay, I think we just do it when he's uh, around. So that's it. If you already able to run the no. like the workers and then the. Monitoring service. Oh, worker is working fine, but the monitoring service is not working. I get an unknown error for it. Uh, Have was, you pushed? Oh, okay. So the worker is. Mm -hmm. I think maybe it, don't you get the SSH key thing, or is it? Did you um did you try the trick? Because normally I had to do like start a SSH session just once to to get the key registered. Uh, no, you, did you set it to use no key for the connection? Uh, we are using user and password. So if you open yeah, but uh, this you, interpreter, uh, the, host key, the host key is not using the host key. Yeah, because in mine, like every time you build the SF, like on projector, every time you build the the dev container, if you if it builds it again fresh, it gives it a new host key inside of the container, and then but uh, and then you have to say yes, I accept to connect to this host. Yeah, and uh, in mm -hmm. my time, you have to go like get a little pop up saying yes, you want to connect to this host. But yours is uh, yes. You're also not asking that. But I'm getting still unknown error on the service when I, when I need to run. But I don't get the, any output, so I can't see. Oh, wait, there it is. Uh, error connecting to remote Docker real time orchestration connection refused. Connection refused. Is that the same as what you get, Sunny? Sorry, can you repeat? Uh, uh, let me click there. Yeah, I think I, I think you should just mm. maybe you should just pull again. I I already patched it. Uh, again, okay. I just did one like two seconds ago. Let me just patch upstream. No, there is uh in three seconds ago. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> one second ago. Oh. You need to be. Yeah. yeah, well, <laughs> while you were talking, I made a fix. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I, need to, I need to leave you guys, actually. Uh, oh, yes, I see some new stuff there. So basically, we need to run. Can you just put in the doc? We need to run the um, real-time monitor. Let's see. You know, Google Doc here. Um, Oops, <laughs> <laughs> so the first thing is we need to run in PyCharm. 
and uh, what's it called? The uh, run monitoring service key, not the MPV, just the normal one, eh? Run monitoring service. Yeah, the normal one is BMKG. The normal one is BMKG. BMPV or which? Yes. So, yeah. So the one with no BMKG. BMKG. The uh, what? I get a glitch. Uh, so you run the one without BMPV in the words. Eh? So it's run real time monitoring service. Yes. Monitoring service. Yeah. And then after you run that one, you also run at the same time, which the key salary workers. Um, does it matter which order you run them? No, it doesn't matter. It uh, it was for two different surface. Okay. And how will you test it? Because they, you have to drop a shape map into a directory or something. And... Yes, yes. You had to uh, drop a shape map into the directory. Can you update the doc? Do you see that doc? Can you put just a few notes about how you would test? Step five. It's still empty. Masa sih tuh orang udah ada nih. Kosong ini. Apa orang hapus dulu aja kali ya? Tuh ada tuh. Orang nggak tahu nih. Udah pul belum? Udah. Yaki. Yo cuy. Empty cuy. Okay, I need to go off, guys. I've got to have lunch before I start like four meetings again this afternoon. Um, yeah, that's good session, risky. So, can we do another one like this for the 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 pie charm thing? Hopefully, it'll go quicker because we've already got the workflows in place. Um, yeah. So, when are we going to do that? Uh, maybe you can tomorrow? just schedule something for uh, tomorrow. Maybe let's check on. Uh, let me check my diary. I think. Uh, yeah, tomorrow we could do it. Maybe in the morning again, like uh, morning South Africa time, like 10 to 12, same time slot. Uh, does it clash with Friday stand up? Um, we should finish by 10. Uh, if we run a few minutes over, we'll just we will be there anyway. Okay. Carry on, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay, so I'm just. I'll I'll ask Rahmat to try yeah. this one. Yeah, we must run through what we've done already here. Um, huh. I'm just gonna. I'll make the appointment, Risky. Um, um, okay, I've sent it. Yeah, yeah. Rothmat must catch up, and he must be there. Um, and then, yeah, maybe tomorrow we can just. Check that our systems are all working according you know, for, for the processing part. We can just do any troubleshooting we need to. Um, when I, yeah, after I've done the, the get, I, I, so I did a fresh get checkout and reset. And must I redo something else? Might run the Ansible again. Yeah, you should run the Ansible again for fresh, fresh start. Okay, so every time I run Ansible setup, it's gonna trash my idea directory or? 
Uh, uh, it will just uh, update some files, but not all of it. Okay. Okay, cool. Thanks, Ruski. I'm going to leave it there. I'll stop re our recording. Um, and I'll share the recording yep. on, uh, on YouTube for Rahmat to watch if he wants to. Ivan, are you, uh, Ivan, are you still, did you manage to follow along enough of the process and understand what we're doing? Uh, yeah, I get to follow a few parts.